Hello, this is Matthew from COP Technical Support, and in today's quick video, what I'm going to go over is how we set up an event to send notifications through to the Hike Connect app. So, starting from our recorder, it's already added to the app. Hike Connect is already on, enabled, and all connected to the cloud. Uh, we've covered that in another video. So, we need an event set up, so we're going to go to Event Center. And we're just going to go under event configuration. I'm going to enable motion detection. That's selected as the full zone. I'm just going to give that a save. Now we're going to go into linkage method and actions and turn on notify surveillance center. I'm going to give that a save. So that notify surveillance center is the key to getting this event sent over to Hike Connect. So from here, as far as the record is concerned, we now have motion detection set up covering the full image of the camera. No target identification. We haven't got human or vehicle detection set up for this example. And it's armed 24-7. So at the moment, if I put my hand in front of that camera, it should send a notification through to the app. But it doesn't because there isn't just setup in the recorder that needs to be gone over. There's also setup in the app. So I'll swap you over now to my mobile phone and we'll go through it there as well. And here we are now connected to my mobile phone. So as we can see at the moment, there's no notifications come through. I've got nothing next to that bell down at the bottom. So we've got no notifications. That event hasn't made it to my mobile phone. Okay, so where should we start? Let's tap on the three dots to the right hand side and go into settings. Immediately here, we can see that notifications are currently disabled. So we're going to give that a tap and we're going to say, right, I want to receive events and push notifications. You can enable the notification schedule if you like. And all this does is give you a recording schedule, much like that on a recorder that lets you color in when you'd like to receive notifications and leave blank when you don't want to receive any. But we're not going to be using that for the sake of this. So receive events and push notifications and allow strobe and lights on the device. Okay. There we are, notifications are now enabled. Let's go back to our homepage. So from there, we can see now that the device is armed. We can see that all the cameras are throwing up an armed scenario saying that they should be able to send events now through to the app. So if I move my hand in front of my camera, we can see I've got a push notification. Cop cam motion detection alarm. Now, if we drag that down and if we were to give it a tap, that would open up the live view and the playback for the event. We'll notice it didn't throw up a notification and tell us that it was here because I had the app open. If the app was closed and then we'd come into it again, we would have seen that we had a fresh notification for us to go through. But what if we want to stop getting notifications? What if we want it to be nice and easy? Well, in the middle of our three icons here, that shield, we can give that a tap and we can say, arm silently. So I still want motion detection to be armed. I still want to be notified if it sees motion detection, but it's not going to give me this icon. It's not going to throw up this cop cam motion detection alarm. It's not going to tell me about it. If I don't want it to be shown at all, I can just clap disarm, which means now it won't tell us in the app there's been a notification and it won't push it to our device either. So, if then we decide, actually, no, I want that all rearmed, shield icon, tap arm, and then we're back into the position of it sending push notifications, notifying the app, and letting us know that there's been motion on our site. And that's it. That's how we set up an event and have notifications pushed through to the Hike Connect app. Thank you for watching today.